Welcome back to our channel. Today, we take a poignant journey through the lives of cherished celebrities whose premature departures may have quietly escaped public attention. We're dedicating this episode to the luminous stars whose memories still burn bright, even though they've left our stage too soon. From the most illustrious figures to the unsung heroes behind the scenes, join us as we pay homage to those we've lost. Now let's begin. Robert Guillaume, born on November 30, 1927, in St. Louis, Missouri, was an esteemed American actor and singer. He reached stardom through his revolutionary role as Benson Du Bois in the television series Soap, 1977-1981, and its successful spin-off, Benson, 1979-1986. Guillaume's career was characterized by his adaptability and excellence, culminating in two Emmy Awards, and he made history as the first African-American to receive the Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. The voice of Rafiki in Disney's The Lion King, 1994, was another of Guillaume's memorable roles. Even after suffering a stroke in 1999, he remained active in the entertainment industry. Robert Guillaume passed away on October 24, 2017. His pioneering work and contributions to African-American representation in entertainment have left an indelible mark. Omar Sharif, born Michael Dimitri Shalhoub on April 10, 1932, in Alexandria, Egypt, was a charismatic and celebrated actor known for his captivating performances. He shot to international fame with his roles in Lawrence of Arabia, 1962, and Dr. Zhivago, 1965. Sharif's work crossed linguistic and cultural boundaries, making his mark in both English and Arabic cinema. His accolades included two Golden Globe Awards and an Oscar nomination for his performance in Lawrence of Arabia. Sharif was also a renowned contract bridge player. He passed away on July 10, 2015. Omar Sharif's legacy endures, a testament to his brilliant artistry and the cultural connections he fostered between East and West. Fats Domino, born Antoine Domino Jr. on February 26, 1928, in New Orleans, Louisiana, was an influential American pianist and singer-songwriter. A key figure in the 1950s, his unique vocal style and rhythm and blues piano playing were instrumental in the birth of rock and roll. With classics like Ain't That a Shame and Blueberry Hill, Domino gained international stardom and played a significant role in bringing African-American musicians into the mainstream. His career was adorned with chart-topping hits and critical accolades, including a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 1987. Fats Domino left us on October 24, 2017, at the age of 89, but his lasting impact on music lives on. Amanda Peterson, born on July 8, 1971 in Greeley, Colorado, was an American actress remembered for her starring role as Cindy Mancini in the 1987 romantic comedy Can't Buy Me Love. Her performance in the film won hearts and catapulted her to stardom with her endearing talent and on-screen charisma. Peterson appeared in other projects, including The Lawless Land and Listen to Me, but faced personal battles that eventually led her to step away from the limelight. Her career trajectory, which seemed so promising, was marred by these struggles. And on July 3, 2015, Amanda Peterson passed away at the age of 43. Her passing was a somber event for those who cherished her work and serves as a stark reminder of the pressures faced by those in the entertainment industry. Despite the difficulties she encountered, Peterson's mark on 80s cinema remains significant. Craig Sager, born on June 29, 1951, in Batavia, Illinois, became an iconic American sports reporter with a flamboyant wardrobe and an ebullient spirit. Known primarily for his work as a sideline reporter for TNT's NBA broadcasts, 
Sager's colorful attire and engaging interviews endeared him to sports fans and athletes nationwide. With a career that spanned over 40 years, he reported on a variety of major sporting events, including the Olympics and NBA playoffs. Despite his battle with leukemia, which he bravely fought in the public eye, Sager continued to bring his relentless energy to sports journalism. In a heartfelt acknowledgement of his inspirational career, he was awarded the Jimmy V. Perseverance Award at the 2016 ESPY Awards posthumously. Craig Sager passed away on December 15, 2016, at the age of 65. His passion and distinctive approach to sports reporting have left a lasting legacy in the industry. Glenn Quinn, born on May 28, 1970, in Dublin, Ireland, was an Irish actor celebrated for his portrayal of Doyle, the half-demon character on the television series Angel from 1999 to 2000. His compelling performances demonstrated a depth of talent that extended beyond Angel to other television hits like Roseanne, where he played Mark Healy, Becky's boyfriend. Despite his promising career, Quinn struggled with personal demons that ultimately overcame him. On December 3, 2002, Glenn Quinn passed away at the young age of 32. The entertainment world felt the loss deeply, as Quinn's career was brimming with potential. His passing was mourned by fans and colleagues alike, and his work on television continues to be celebrated, preserving his legacy through the powerful performances he left behind. Rob Knox, born on August 21, 1989, in Kent, England, was a promising British actor and musician. His portrayal of Marcus Belby in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, 2009, marked a significant step in his burgeoning acting career. Knox displayed considerable potential and talent, which was tragically cut short by a violent stabbing incident outside a London bar on May 24, 2008, when he was just 18 years old. His premature death sent ripples of shock through the entertainment community and his fan base. Beyond acting, Knox was also passionate about music, demonstrating his artistic versatility. His memory stands as a heart-rending testament to the senseless impact of violence on the promising lives of young creatives. Sir George Martin, born on January 3rd, 1926, in London, England, was a towering figure in the music industry, affectionately dubbed the Fifth Beatle. His innovative approach to record production and orchestration played an indispensable role in crafting the iconic sound of the Beatles. Martin's forward-thinking production work and his classical music arrangements were instrumental in the band's formative years, propelling them to unprecedented acclaim. Throughout his illustrious career, which spanned several decades, Sir George Martin collaborated with a multitude of artists, earning him recognition as one of the most influential producers in music history. His extensive work included partnerships with notable musicians like Elton John and Celine Dion. Martin's accolades are numerous, having won multiple Grammy Awards, received a knighthood for his services to music, and been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Wendell Middlebrooks, born on January 8, 1979, in Fort Worth, Texas, was an American actor who warmed hearts as the friendly delivery man in the Miller High Life beer commercials. His charismatic presence and memorable slogan, High Life, earned him a special place in the hearts of television viewers. Middlebrooks' talents extended beyond commercial success. He made notable appearances in TV series like Scrubs and Body of Proof, showcasing his range and charm as an actor. His sudden passing on March 9, 2015, at the age of 36, due to a pulmonary embolism, was a profound loss to fans and fellow actors alike. Wendell Middlebrook's positive spirit and memorable performances continue to resonate, ensuring his lasting impact on audiences through both his commercial and dramatic work. David Graff, 
born on April 16, 1950, in Lancaster, Ohio, was an American actor with a flair for comedy, immortalized as the zealous Sergeant Eugene Tackleberry in the Police Academy film series. Hailing from a family with theatrical roots, Graff's comedic brilliance shone brightly in the beloved movie franchise, bringing laughter to audiences worldwide. Graff's talents were not limited to the Police Academy films. He also graced television screens in shows like The West Wing and M Asterisk A Asterisk S Asterisk H, showcasing his capability for both humor and drama. His career was further enriched by his engaging stage presence and voice acting contributions. Sadly, David Graff's life was cut short by a heart attack on April 7, 2001, at the age of 50. His passing was a significant loss, but his legacy lives on through the joy he brought to fans and the indelible mark he left on the world of comedy and entertainment. Steve Ryan, born June 19, 1947, in Manhattan, New York, was an American actor celebrated for his dynamic acting skills on television, film, and stage. Although Ryan may not have become a household name, he earned a reputation for his authentic character work in series like Arrested Development, The West Wing, and Oz. His ability to shift effortlessly from drama to comedy demonstrated his extensive range and dedication to his craft. Despite health issues, Ryan remained committed to his acting career, contributing to the industry with unyielding passion. His life came to a premature end on September 3, 2007, at the age of 60, due to complications from lung disease. The acting community and his audience mourned his passing, remembering him for his impactful performances and his steadfast devotion to the arts. Ray Combs, born on April 3, 1956, in Hamilton, Ohio, was an American comedian and television game show host renowned for his tenure on Family Feud from 1988 to 1994. Combs infused the show with his distinctive brand of humor, which played a pivotal role in the program's popularity during his time as host. Besides his game show success, Combs also excelled in stand-up comedy and acting, demonstrating an innate ability to resonate with various audiences. His career highlights notably include the revitalization of Family Feud, though he encountered personal and financial difficulties in his later years. Tragically, Ray Combs' life ended prematurely when he passed away on June 2, 1996, at the age of 40. His death was ruled a suicide. Despite the challenges he faced, Combs is fondly remembered for his vibrant contributions to comedy and television hosting, with his captivating performances leaving a lasting impression in entertainment history. Rod Taylor, born January 11, 1930, in Sydney, Australia, was a charismatic and versatile actor celebrated for his significant contributions to film and television. He rose to fame with his starring roles in the classic science fiction film The Time Machine, 1960, and in Alfred Hitchcock's thriller, The Birds, 1963. Taylor's extensive career spanned various genres, demonstrating his adeptness in everything from science fiction to adventure and drama. His performance in The Time Machine earned him a Golden Globe nomination, highlighting his talent in the industry. Taylor's work extended beyond Hollywood to international cinema, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. His talents also graced animated projects, where his voice brought characters to life. On January 7, 2015, Rod Taylor passed away at the age of 84, but his legacy continues through his memorable roles and significant impact on the cinematic world, securing his place in the annals of film history. Monty Hall, born on August 25, 1921, in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, was a television icon and the charismatic host of the groundbreaking game show, Let's Make a Deal, which debuted in 1963. Hall's personable nature, quick wit, and amiable hosting approach were integral to the show's enduring success, securing his status as a beloved figure in television game shows. Hall's career was marked by versatility. He was not only a host, but also a producer of various television programs. His work received widespread recognition, including winning three Daytime Emmy Awards, among other accolades. Monty Hall passed away on September 30, 2017, 
at the age of 96. His legacy in entertainment and as a pioneer of game show television is celebrated to this day. Hall's influence on the industry and his lasting connection with audiences are treasured milestones in the evolution of television. Stephen Hill, born on February 24, 1922, in Seattle, Washington, was an American actor renowned for his varied roles in film, television, and theater. He is perhaps best known for his portrayal of District Attorney Adam Schiff in the long-running TV series Law and Order, a role he played from 1990 to 2000. Hill's impressive career, which spanned over six decades, featured standout performances in films such as Billy Bathgate, 1991, and Yentl, 1983. His intensity and dedication to acting garnered respect from colleagues and audiences alike. On August 23, 2016, Stephen Hill passed away at the age of 94. While widely remembered for his work on Law & Order, his extensive and diverse body of work serves as a testament to a career defined by talent, versatility, and an unwavering commitment to the performing arts. Thank you for joining us in honoring the legacies of these remarkable artists. If any of these stories have surprised you or stirred reflections, please like this post, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more engaging content. Until next time, take care, and let's continue to celebrate the memories of those who have left an indelible mark on our hearts.